You guys can see it or no? The one I'm making right now or no? Yo, can you guys... Can you guys see it right now or no? So you can see, uh, you guys can see these charts, this Twitter chart. You can see this one right here. You see me circling my mic? You see this? All right, bet. All right, so I just wanted to hop on here real quick and um, kind of go over this Twitter play. A lot of people were asking, like, asking about it and what we saw on it and why we liked it. Um, so I just wanted to hop on here and kind of review this overnight swing that we got before the news. Um, kind of break that down, really what we saw, why we liked it, and uh, what made us really interested in this play in general. So everybody knows what happened to it, right? We took them $8 on the 50 calls and they went all the way to uh, 119 I wonder if you guys... Uh, Big tech guy, if you guys couldn't tell. I'm a big tech guy. Can you guys see uh can you guys see the Twitter right now? I'm a big tech guy. Big tech guy. Alright. So Essentially, guys, you guys can see here, this is the Twitter 50 call, average field price 8. This is where they closed up at 57. Um, but here's the quotes on them, right? So we got them, once again, one of those things where nobody wants it until everybody wants it. So one man's trash, yet again, another man's treasure. Um, it's not an IV flush, but it's a similar situation, guys. Um Nobody liked the trade. Nobody wanted Twitter. It was it was just one of those things where they were essentially worthless. One thing that really made me interested about the play that a lot of people I don't think understood, one, I follow volume, and two, when a name like Twitter with all that Elon Musk news and all this news going on with Twitter is from the past couple of weeks, about a month now, is sitting 50 cents or so out the money, and those things are going for five, six, seven, eight dollars for 56, 50 cents out the money. It's like, why is it doing that, right? So, I mean, here's the daily um, for all you people who want to see that versus the 10 minute. I'll show you what kind of gave it away. And that will make a lot more sense, I think. So, everybody knows I follow the volume. Obviously, you guys who like your charts, I mean, this is, I mean, this is textbook wedge flag whatever you want to call it um i don't really care too much about that aspect of it obviously you know if you're big on charts you could see the wedge you could see it over the 8 and 21 and that's obviously something interesting but more importantly before this gap fill which happened you're able to see um you're able to see the volume come in on this thing so obviously you have your little wedge right i mean that's clear as day that's that's basics. That's ABCs of trading. I mean, that's so simple. I don't have to even go over that. But what I see is this is the daily, right? Daily looks good, but you could see it getting tight and holding this ADMA. But that's that's nice, right? That's awesome. ADMAs are cool. You know, active sequence. It's in a short term uptrend. But what gave this trade away, guys, yesterday before the news was this candle right here, guys. This candle right here. And I'll show you, I'll highlight it so you guys can't mistake this candle, right? I mean, it's. Jeez. Big tech guy. Big tech guy, if you guys didn't know.
so this candle right here kind of gave this trade away away to me right so we see this random volume pop in yesterday twitter had news about elon trying to you know back new offerings try to get new funding and for me that's like okay what's going on he's trying to back it for more funding they're eight cents they're right outside the money and this volume comes in right and then you get this next volume candle right here right so you get this first one you get this first volume candle around 2.30. But then you get this next one <coughs> right here. And that's the one that really piqued my attention going into close. Why is Twitter gapping like that into close? Why, why is Twitter at 2.30 getting this massive volume, right? Volume. And then why right before close... Does it get another massive bar, right? Why does it get another massive volume bar? What's going on here? Well, how much are they? They're about $49, 49, 49.30 or so. This is 49.23, about $49.23 into close, right? On massive volume. Well, what's going on there? No idea. But knowing it's Wednesday and we still have Thursday and Friday to work, and these things are $8. And we've got two consecutive massive volume bars out of the blue, right? You get one around two two thirty right here on this candle. Two thirty, you get massive volume. But then again, around right before it close, you get a real big bar, massive volume bar, wicks it up, hammers it out. What's going on there? No idea. Is it the funding? What's going on? But at eight cents, the risk or reward, in my opinion, it's allowing me to take these. And, and take it with the size where it's not such a risk because the downside, if you go to zero, is, is $8 per, right? But since you still have Thursday and Friday to work, they're not going worthless. Worst case, they go back to, you know, 4 or $5 and you lose 30 40% on that trade. Now, if you don't over-risk and over-leverage that trade, worst case, you lose 3 $4 per. $4 would be 50%, 3 is about 33 whatever it may be, 40 that range. So for me, I see this first initial bar, it piques my interest. Then I see this one going into close and I'm like, okay, something's going on here, right? And you guys could see where I filled them right before close, literally 40 seconds before close. I saw it 38 seconds before close. I was like, you know what, at $8 with this massive volume, something's going on. I don't know what's going on, but I know something is happening here and I really wanna be in the position in case some more Elon news happens because last time that happened, it has the potential to really rip these things. So you can see on the quotes, guys, they closed up 450%. But if you look here, these things are flatlined. If you were in a hospital bed, dying out, this is what your shit would look like. Then you get revived, right? You come back from the grave like the undertaker, right? They go from worthless, absolutely dead in the water at close to today, Elon news comes out. And what happens? They go all the way to $119. So like I always say, water to wine, right? You turn nothing into something, right? You turn something that's worthless into something that's now beautiful. It's trash to treasure. Why did it do that? What was that volume telling us? Well, my boy, Fast Money, right? Fast Stock Market News, right? Everybody knows him. Elon Musk expected to serve as temporary Twitter CEO after deal closes. So this volume that was coming in into close preluded that news. So everybody always asks, like, how do you play the news? What do you look for? I look for things like this out of the usual, right? Unusual volume, right? Why did it just get this massive wick? What just happened here? Okay, no idea. They're trying to back new funding. Okay, that's interesting. Sells off and then right before close, literally, this is four o'clock. This is close. The last 10 minute before close, you get a, the biggest wick of the day, the biggest volume candle of the day. So what does that mean to me? What that means to me is it preluded that move. So what does that mean? The news came after. This is this morning. So people on, you know, in hedge funds and Wall Street, blah, blah, blah. They knew something was going on here. Somebody obviously knew what was going on here because they wouldn't have been buying these, these shares down here at 48 4850 down here and they wouldn't be buying them into close that heavy 
if they didn't know something. So what did I do? I followed that volume. I understood the risk reward and I knew it wasn't, you know, it, it, the risk reward was there. And I mean, you could see it today. The 51s got hit up. Our 50s even popped up to unusual whales. This is our calls, guys. Our 51s, these things popped up on our thing. And you could see the OI and the volume. OI updates every other day, but the volume updates intraday. So you could see, not only did we know something was happening, but somebody else knew it was happening. So you could see right here, three out of the four top ticker chains are calls. You have your 50s, your 51s, and 52s, which are bull spread, and you have your 50 and 50.5 puts. They got burnt. They got toasted. They lost probably majority of that money trying to fade what was going on, or it was a hedge. You could look deeper into it and kind of get a better understanding of what was going on. And you could see these things are floor trades, guys. These are floor trades for the most part. But what I wanted to bring to your attention is it wasn't just us who saw this, right? You could see unusual whales popping up for that 50 call, right? Low of 24 hit 122. That's today. But what did we do? We got them into close on this wick. And you see that here, right? Eight cents. I put a limit at nine. I put a limit. I put a limit in above the ask. Because I wanted to make sure I got filled. Yet again, that's one of those things where it's like the risk reward there, you're risking $8. I've seen a bunch of people sell stuff. You know, for example, someone showed me he sold his his 10 contracts at 3 bucks. Okay, you're risking $30. What's the downside there? You know what I'm saying? The downside, if you let them go to zero, you, you, you lose $30. You, you pay $30 for gas, pay $30 for a meal. You know what I'm saying? But what happened? They went from dead in the water to absolutely money. They went from worthless, <clears throat> worthless to absolutely in the money. And what happened to the contracts? They showed that. They went from $8, gapped all the way up. Why did it do that? Elon Musk, more news. How did you know that was coming? First hint was this first volume bar. Second hint was this next volume bar. But this volume bar into close on the 10 minute was wild. So we ended up closing, I think on those up about 18% or so. Um, and we closed up about 18% on them. And I had a couple of people ask me like, yo, should I sell? Should I sell? Should I sell them? I said, do whatever you want with them. You know what I'm saying? Like do whatever you want. You're up 18%, but that's not what I'm here for. I'm here for real money. What happened? 1200%, right? 14K, 26K. This is 120% first day on the bus, guys, right? All it takes is a little bit of trust into actually, you know, 1800%, 875%, right? Twitter, 1000%, 300%, right? This, was, this is what I posted this morning before, right as we opened, right? This is what they looked like into close. We are up 18%. They went from about $8 to close to nine, ten. What happened right at open? Boom. This is one minute work. This is one minute worth of work. If you include the one minute, the, the 38 seconds I traded because you saw I got in at 359.22, which means there was 38 seconds left on the day. That's a that's one minute and 38 seconds worth of work. I turned nothing, nothing worthless into worth a lot. And what follows after that, I mean everybody knows right i mean they start going crazy 50 percent less than 30 seconds 300 percent. but everybody sees you know the 10 bagger so like i said guys that was one of those trades where i literally just followed the volume i followed the volume and it turned water to wine you know a lot of people say oh that's easy to do we'll do it then because i don't see anybody on i didn't did you guys see anybody else on twitter in Twitter calls yesterday, because I didn't, you know, everybody could chase here when news comes out. But like I always say, guys, the art of war, it's not this, it, it, hearing thunder doesn't mean you hear well. To see lightning doesn't mean you see well. You have to, you have to see it before the king of the common herd. That's the sign of excellence, right? What gave it away that there was something deeper going on? The first volume bar, what's happening? Right before close, massive volume. Okay, got to watch this. I'm buying them. And if you look here, guys, this is the biggest volume bar of the day. 
Why does the biggest volume bar of the day happen one minute before close? Obviously, if you use unusual whales or whatnot, you can see these guys were getting positioned for these trades. You could see the volume in the OI on these things, right? People were positioning themselves for that trade. What was happening? Nobody knows until somebody knows. And like I said, if you follow TLN or, you know, fast stock, you see this. It's that simple, guys. News comes out. What comes before news? Volume. I always say volume precedes price. The volume will come in before the, the price starts to move. Why? Because volume moves the price. The price action dictates stock prices. And this is what happened. So I just wanted to hop on here and go over this trade real quick. Kind of break down why I liked it, what we saw, and in the future what I mean by watching volume. Because a lot of you guys ask me what I mean by when I'm saying watching the volume. I hope this clears it up because, I mean, this is as clear as day. This is at 2.30, and this is at 3.59. Massive volume. You guys could see it. If you ignore that candle, if you ignore that candle, at least look at this green bar, right? If you're ignoring that candle wick, look at what does it to the wick, right? This is about 1.8 million volume, right? Yeah, it's like 1.8 million volume. All the other bars were sitting at like what, hundred thousand volume. So this ball, you know, so that wick was about what ten x essentially what all the other candles were in volume. Nobody knew what was going on allegedly, but look at this. That's what a thousand percent looks like, guys. That's what eight dollars. That's what eight dollars to one hundred twenty gets you. A big ass move off news. There was no news at the time, no no reports, nothing. It was simply volume preceding price action because volume is the price action. Without the volume, the price doesn't move. So I just wanted to hop on here, guys, and kind of go over that trade real quick. It was uh, super easy and kind of break down kind of what unusual whales saw in that trade, what I saw in that trade, and um, you know what you can do to be, be able to see that yourself. Obviously, calls are two to one here. Two, two thirds to one third, right? But in a, in a disgusting market today, whole market was red. What happened? Twitter closed green. Everybody on, on Twitter wishes they were in Twitter, but there was only one Discord that was on there, and that was us. So, anyways, guys, I just wanted to hop on here and show you guys that, kind of go over it, show you how you turn water to wine. $8 to 120 So. Have a good day. Have a good night. I'll do pre-market live on here. 